Printing large things with a 0.6 nozzle on an Ender 3? Not tough at all. But what about small prints? Can you get those to be detailed? Or even print in place hinges? Well, I have a profile that does just that, and I'm giving it away for free right here at Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. I use version 5.2.1 of Cura to develop the profile. So it's not the latest and greatest, but it's close. I use my Ender 3 machine profile, a 0.6 nozzle setting, although you really don't have to worry about that because I set all the extrusion widths in the profile. Now I had multiple profiles, I ended up at number two, but here's a sample from each profile that I've played with making minor changes. And I changed extrusion width, I changed walls and settings, I changed uh, infill, I kind of stuck with 15%, and some settings to go with that. I changed the temperature to 210 degrees to give it more time to go through the nozzle of an Ender 3. I played with the various speeds to get things right. I ended up a little slower than I wanted to go, but it comes out nice. And retraction settings and everything else. So what I finally got done, I wanted to compare it to a 0.4 nozzle, my good profile, and so I did, and it's one hour and 37 minutes to print a good benchy at a 0.2 layer height. So then I went to the 0.6 profile, my number two, which turned out to be my favorite of the bunch. One hour and four minutes. So it's not a significant savings, but it came out really smooth. It's hard to tell the two apart. I mean, you can if you really know what you're looking for, but the smoothness of the benchy is really, really good. Now, if you're printing bigger, of course, 0.6 nozzle is going to be better. Say I take this benchy and I made it 300% size. So three times the size, it's almost going to fill an ender bed. So to print this thing is going to take a while at a 0.2 layer height with a 0.4 nozzle. Looking at 16 hours of printing, you're probably not going to print like that. But with this really good profile, if you want a really good large benchy, you're looking at 10 hours and 53 minutes. Still not fast, but significantly faster than a 0.4 nozzle. So next I printed even smaller, a CHEP cube. I used my good profile, 0.2 layer height, 28 minutes to print a CHEP cube. Now I went to my 0.6 nozzle profile, 18 minutes. So it's significantly quicker, but you notice the letters are definitely more rounded on the 0.6 nozzle on the left. But again, bigger is better. So 300% CHEP cube, it's gonna take you almost five hours to print with a 0.4 nozzle. With my 0.6, you're down to three hours and 18 minutes. So once I felt I got it dialed in to print good benches and good chep cubes, small prints, I wondered how small could I go? Could I print a hinged 3D print? I found this hinged calibration cube, which looks a lot like a chep cube, by HP Biz. Now he's got some great designs for hinged parts. He's got some hinged eggs with toys that go inside of it. So I knew this would be a good design, but I wanted to see if I could print this with my 0.6 nozzle profile. And here's the result. It looks really good. Even the bottom looks good. It looks like this thing should hinge. Now, when I pulled it apart, it's definitely stiff the first time. But once you go back and forth a few times, it moves easily. So I'm really happy with the results. The 0.6 profile handled this perfectly. Prior to this, I focused on 0.4 nozzles. I love the detail I was getting. I do have extra fast profiles for 0.4 nozzle. But getting a really good 0.6 profile, that took me some time. But now, I think I've got it. So I'm probably going to switch more of my printers to a 0.6 nozzle because there's a lot of times I just don't need that real fine detail like lettering or things like that. And a 0.6 with this profile is clearly working really well. I put the profile up on Thangs.com. You can download it for free from the link in the description of this video. But do it before the end of March. Because after that, I'm moving the profile to my Chep Club site, which is only accessible from Patreon supporters. It's their perk for supporting the channel. So if you want it, get it now. Try it out. Let me know how it works for you in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way to do it. Or buy through the affiliates in the description below. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. That way you don't miss an episode. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.